Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to the homestead for another video. I'm in my kitchen today because it is freezing cold outside. It is pouring down rain. So I thought I would take this opportunity to reorganize some of my kitchen cabinets, some of my kitchen drawers, repurpose the drawers so they can better suit my needs currently. Um, I do have a large pantry in our laundry room here, and I am currently working on setting up a larger bulk food storage area in one of my guest bedroom closets down here that's really not being utilized to its full potential. So I'm gonna be making a video on that as well, but today I'm looking for a storage solution for sweet potatoes, potatoes, squashes, and all those things. And so I'm gonna be cleaning out two of the drawers here, and I'm going to be lining those drawers with some paper bag baskets to store all those things in. But hopefully if you're kind of pinched on some space, but you have some extra cabinet space in your kitchen or your laundry room or something like that, hopefully this will give you some really good ideas for storing all of those squashes and winter vegetables so you can have them to enjoy all winter long. So let's go ahead, I'll show you the drawer before we get started so you can see what my plan is, kind of what I'm gonna do, how I'm hoping to reorganize it, and then I'll show it to you when it's done. So I'm just gonna move the stuff that I need for my baskets off to the side. I'm gonna take all of this stuff out of the drawer. Once I have my shelving unit built for my bulk storage in the other room, my plan is to move this into there. I will probably at some point also do some reorganization in my pantry closet here. And so I'm hoping I can keep these in the pantry closet because that's gonna be a lot quicker than having to go over to the bulk food storage to get these out. So before I start measuring the drawer to put my bags into, I'm gonna grab my small vacuum cleaner and some all-purpose um, non-toxic cleaner. I'm gonna spray out the drawer, make sure it's cleaned out thoroughly so that way when I put my food back in it, I know that it's clean. So I'm gonna go grab my cleaner, grab my small vacuum cleaner, get that cleaned out, and then we'll start cutting our bags. So this drawer is actually probably not dirty enough to need to be vacuumed out, so I'm just gonna give it a quick spray here with some all-purpose cleaner and just get it wiped out. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I measure this drawer so I cut the bag the right size. If I'm gonna bother making like bags to hold all this stuff, I wanna make sure that they're as tall as possible to fit as much as possible instead of just cutting them short. So if you didn't wanna cut brown paper bags, you could also buy like a rattan basket or some plastic baskets or something like that. But I have found with these particular drawers, they are so tall that it was hard for me to find baskets that would fit in there the full height. So I'm just gonna make something quick out of paper bags. I have a bunch of those since we are no longer allowed to use plastic bags here in Washington. So I'm just gonna use what I have. It's free, so why not repurpose it? So let's head over to the drawer. I'm gonna show you how to measure this. So you can use a sewing tape measure like this one that I have. You can also use a regular tape measure. It doesn't really matter. So the only thing that I'm gonna measure right now is the height of the inside of the drawer. So I just wanna know how tall I need to cut my paper bags. So my drawer is about nine and a quarter inches tall. So now let's head to the table and I'll show you how to cut this paper bag. So to get our bags cut, you're gonna need your paper sacks, you're gonna need a tape measure, some scissors, and a pen. So you're gonna start off, like I said before, measure the inside height of your drawer. Mine was nine and a quarter inches. So now on the paper bag, I'm gonna start on the bottom seam here and I'm gonna measure up nine and a quarter inches and then make a little tick mark. And I'm probably going to cut this down at nine inches, just so it's about a quarter inches away from the top of the drawer. You can cut it to the exact height, or you can cut it a little bit lower. So I'm just marking my bag like this with a little tick mark. I don't care if these are perfectly straight. If I ended up finding some rattan baskets or something that were tall enough for the drawer, I'll probably just purchase those. But this is a really good short-term solution, and I just have them. So I'm just going to use them. All right, so it's just gonna look like this and then you can open it up. It'll sit right inside the drawer and you can put your potatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, and all those things directly in this bag. So let's head back over to the drawer. Let's check the size of this and then we'll start making some more of these so we can fill up our drawer. All right, so let's see if it fits. It should since I measured it, but that doesn't mean it's gonna fit. <laughs> all right, that's perfect. 
So I'm gonna cut all of them at nine inches and we're just gonna have to wait and see how many bags I can actually fit in here. So I think I'm gonna be able to fit three bags across this way and then two bags this way. So I'm gonna get five bags total cut for this particular drawer and then hopefully they'll all fit. So let's head back over to the table, get the rest of these bags cut. And my plan is to finish emptying out this basket rack over here, getting all of my root vegetables, squashes, and everything like that put into that drawer. So let's go get this finished up and let's see how it looks when it's done. So none of these paper bags are gonna go to waste. The rest of these I'm just gonna grind up and use for my um, fire starters that I like to make. So that way I have a bulk stash of those ready for the winter time as well. All right, all my bags are cut. Let's head back over the door and get them all put in. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so here is what the drawer looks like lined with the paper bags. So I wish I could fit one more in here, but there's not really a lot of space. So I could cram the bags together and just store something over here. I might do that. I don't really know yet. I want to see um, once I get this drawer completely filled full of my squashes and potatoes and all my stuff, how much room I actually have left over. So it's going to free up a lot of space in my basket on the wall for fruit. Um, I can actually move that basket back into um, another room of the house if I want to, but let's get all of our stuff put into these. So I'm going to start with all of my delicata squash. I'm probably going to put the squash in the two bags on the ends here. So let's see what else I have. I have two acorn squash and a butternut squash. All right, so now the drawer is totally full. We have our onions and stuff here, regular potatoes, sweet potatoes, squashes, and some other delicata squashes. So I don't really know if this is gonna be like a long-term storage option for these things, but as of right now, I really like how this looks. I like that it's in the kitchen. It's gonna be really accessible. These drawers stay really cool inside, so I'm hoping that's also gonna keep my um, squashes and my potatoes lasting a lot longer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any kind of really cool tips or tricks on storing squashes and potatoes. And I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.